This is Academic and Career Planning for the 2021 school year. This week, we will help you select your courses for the upcoming academic year. Today, you will receive your course request worksheet in Homeroom, and we will go over how to make your selections and your resources available to you. You will have one week to make your course selections, and by Monday, January 13th, your course request sheet will be collected and reviewed for accuracy. On January 27th, your course request worksheet will be returned to you and you will finalize your course selections by entering them into the Infinite Campus system. Let's get started. To graduate from the Appleton Area School District, students must complete a minimum of 23 credits in specific curricular areas, including four credits of English with 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade selections, three credits of mathematics, three credits of science, including one credit of physical science, one credit of life science, and one credit of science elective, three credits of social studies, including civics, world or global history, and U.S. history, 1.5 credits of physical education, a semester of health, 1.0 credits of any fine art, and a semester or 0.5 credits of personal financial management or intro to economics. The remaining 6.5 credits are elective credits and can be customized based on your individual academic and career goals. To assist students in the course planning process, the Appleton Area School District has provided a course and career planning guide. The first page on the guide is about graduation requirements. Later in this presentation, we will go over how to do a credit check, but here are the graduation requirements in total, which equal 23 credits. The next section is the four-year course planning worksheet. This worksheet is designed to help students plan out their four years here at Appleton North High School. We also have included a section about post high school planning. If you have questions about what admission requirements you'll need to fulfill for college, um, you can go to this page or go to your Zello account or go to the UW Help website. We've also included a section in here for called additional course opportunities. If you go to the Appleton Area School District website, there is an additional link there um, that includes information about dual credit, youth apprenticeship, CT internship, uh, start college now and or early college credit program. A very important page on this in this is the career cluster page. Each of our course sections are divided into career clusters. On the top right hand side of the page will identify the career cluster of interest. If you forgot which career cluster of interest um, is for you, you can go back and review your matchmaker results that you took in the fall. On the next section is the course guide and numbers. If you were interested in a particular course, you can select it. For example, if I wanted more information on Intro to Computer Science, I would click that link. On the top right hand side, you can see already that the cluster information, it's IT and STEM. The first course that is listed, the number is 9340, and the name of the course is Intro to Computer Science. Following that is a brief description about the class and what you would do when you take this class. And following that is the level, what grade you need to have um, attained to be in this class. In addition is the credit total and if there is a prerequisite. In this particular class, there is no prerequisite, but if you look at the next class, 9440 AP Computer Science Principles, you see the prerequisite listed is 9340 Intro to Computer Science. The guide is laid out like this. You can either go back um, to the page or scroll through it, or you can click on the bottom right corner and it will bring you back to this linked page. This course guide is located on your ClassLink account, or you can go to the Appleton Area School District website under Teaching and Learning and find it under Course Planning. The first step in the academic and career planning process is to understand how the credits you earn each semester apply to graduation requirements, as well as how they apply to higher education opportunities. To assist you in this task, we will be completing a graphic organizer called the Credit Tracker. To complete the Credit Tracker, you will need to access your transcript in your Student Infinite Campus account or your course planner in Zello. Once you have reviewed these resources, you may begin to complete the Credit Tracker by checking off all the credits you have completed in the appropriate boxes. 
This is a sample of a completed credit tracker evaluation for a current 10th grade student. The student has checked off all completed credits. If you wish, you may circle the credits you are currently taking this school year. After you've completed your credit assessment, you will have a clearer picture of your progress towards graduation. You may also begin to assess your progress for admission to higher education opportunities. On the right-hand side of your screen are the general UW system and Fox Valley Technical College guidelines for college readiness. If you would like more specific information about college readiness for a particular college, please ask your counselor for more information. The 2021 course request sheet for sophomores is green. We ask that students first complete their student name in the middle column and then proceed to the graduation required classes on the left-hand side. We ask that students complete each section in ELA, Social Studies, Science, and Math as in addition to PE and then total up all of their credits. Typically for students, it will be 4.5 credits. Then students are asked to transfer that number on the far right-hand column as indicated. The next step is for students to complete the elective classes of their choice, including band, choir, orchestra, or any of the other CTE courses that are available in the course description guide. Then total up those credits. Finally, the total re required credits should equal six credits at minimum. Six credits meaning that a student will have a study hall both semester one and semester two. If a student does not want any study hall time, then a student would request seven full credits. The next section would be for students to um, complete if they are part of a charter school. Please indicate which charter school you are um, participating in. If you intend to take any e-school courses, please fill in the, the course that you intend to take. Please note that e-school classes are registered for in August. The placeholder on this form is just um, a, a notification to let people know that's your intention. And again, you would need to sign up for that class in August on the eSchool website. Finally, we ask that students put alternate courses, including an alternate PE class and an elective class. The last thing that students need to take, pay attention to is the confirmation in the middle in the, the box. Parents need to confirm that they've seen this and, and agree with the classes that you've taken. Your homeroom advisor will also help you confirm that you've signed up for the total amount of credits needed, a minimum of six. And if you have a case manager, they will sign off on this as well. Again, this course request sheet is due completed uh, by Monday, January 13th.